guys, Fred and Sheila McCoy at Phil McCoy Museum and Adventures. Today we're on an adventure. This yep. is uh, one of our several stops that we've made and, and got to make. And uh, you can see the tombstone there. Yeah. Julius W. Scott and Polly H. Scott. Polly Hatfield. Mm -hmm. Polly Hatfield. Julius married one of Preacher Ant's daughters. Uh, Preacher Ant's Hatfield's daughters. Okay. Polly. Polly was the sister to my great-grandmother, Nancy. Nancy and Polly were sisters. Cool. Both daughters of Preacher Ant's and Polly Hatfield. Okay. Named after her mother, Polly. Uh, we are at the Julius Scott. This is his cemetery. Wow. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful cemetery. Guys, I know there's other YouTubers out there that does uh, videos. This would be a great cemetery for you to visit because there's history here. This is what we came for, for this, these two right here, right. Julius and Polly. Right. Would have been my <clears throat> great aunt. But I've seen, and Sheila has too, we split up, split and conquer, or whatever, divide and conquer. <laughs> divide and conquer. Until yeah. we find stones. But um, she, uh, she and I both have seen all kinds of veterans, yeah. especially World War II veterans. Mm -hmm. and World War II, if you've ever studied war and, and uh, military, Vietnam, World War II, Korea, all of it. They're all, there's no such thing as a, a good war, but World War II veterans had it especially rough yeah um sheila's going to show you on the back of the stone and of course she'll put pictures at the end of the Never. video still pictures of it but it, mm -hmm. it's got two uh, signs back here where they're talking about uh feud descendants mm -hmm. this road right out here that is 319 can you point, back the long you road? point better than i do the long road there yeah that, that road right through there that's 319 that is, yeah. to the left there is blackberry mountain or what's known now as hatfield mccoy mountain a little mm -hmm. small mountain mm -hmm. that you cross over from uh blackberry fork here over into blackberry creek where i grew up okay again sheila narrows branches right down here mm -hmm. randall mccoy's home place is right down here and uh this is where sheila and i were born and raised yeah. uh, the road to the right takes you back to Narrows Branch or back right. to Belfry, but that road down there is called 319. Mm -hmm. 319 intersects over here at Belfry or Toller, Kentucky, off of 119. Right. 119 is um, north and south, I believe it is. And of course, the 319 goes toward the, the east. And uh, 319, you go over Blackberry Mountain. When you come down on the other side of this mountain right here, you're going to be at Preacher Ann's Hatfield's Cabin, where Polly grew up at, born and raised at. Right. And uh, that's where we're going to now. We're headed to make one in uh, Beach Creek to do a couple other videos, hopefully, if we find them. But uh, yep. this was, uh, this you can it. show the back of your... Uh, okay, I'll step around here. Yeah. And then you show can this. put some steels like you're going to do, too. Sheila's yeah, I done took about. pictures, so... And this is uh, Mr. Julius. It tells about him. I'll leave it there so y'all can read that for a little bit. Like I said, I'll put pictures at the end of it too so you can see it. And then here is Miss Polly. I am not sure what Ken, if any, Julius was. You know, a while back we done a... I'm seeing this Henderson here. I don't have my glasses on. Henderson and Bicey Farley Scott. Mm -hmm. Pond Creek. I don't know what relation, if there is any relation. Um, we know that Charles Manson, when we done the story on Charles Manson, that he's related uh, to the Scots here in Pike County. Right. Um, so there's there's so many Hatfields, McCoy Scots. I've seen a whole bunch of Hatfield uh, graves down through there. Mm -hmm. I've seen a McCoy, at least one McCoy. What'd you see? A Hatfield over there. Oh, the yeah, big see, gray one. There's a Hatfield. And then Stanley. Stanley's. Gillis that's maiden name is yeah. Stanley. There's another Stanley. I'm looking to see if that's maybe Uncle George over that there. That is George. Know. Yeah, but what's the wife's name? Uh, oh, well, there's a, a Farley. Dolores. Oh, no. 
No. Yours is staying in. His wife's uh, name was uh, Edna. Yeah. Okay, but still, that's guys, pretty good. Here's you a uh, World War Air Force Vietnam veteran. There you go. Vietnam veteran. George Edward Stanley. Uh, all kinds of veterans up here. Uh, guys, we can't forget our veterans. No. I'm telling you, uh, those people who signed a blank check. Anybody that's ever served in the military signed a blank check at one time in their life, whether they ever served in a war or a conflict or not. They were there. Exactly. Had the, rose, had the need arose, and they were ordered to go somewhere. And that's why I'm I'm so down on Devil Lance Hatfield because he deserted. Because when you're in the military, Civil War, Vietnam, Korea, World War Two, mm -hmm. World War One, and you're counting on these other men to back you up and be your support, right? And and some of them leave and go home to become desperados. It puts you forget about what they went home to do. Short-handed. It, the, they, it leaves you. Sheila will finish this video up with pictures yep. before I get on a rant. <laughs> it's been a good day. It's been a good morning. Beautiful Thank day you, God Lord. has Look given us. Look at these mountains. Look at that sun shining over that mountain. Yeah. It's only, I left my phone in the car, but it's about 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we're off to Beach Creek. Yep. We're off to West Virginia. All righty. I'm going to let them see. Cotton top. Cotton top. top. We can't turn him loose. He he wants to visit. He goes crazy. <laughs> he wants to visit every tombstone. And uh, by visit every tombstone, you know what I mean probably. He's a male dog, so he likes to do his business. His, <laughs> he likes to leave his mark. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Hey, did you turn it off yet? Not yet. Well, here, I want to get, did I get you any on oh, this? Here, take no. cotton top. And uh, I got to get my beautiful, lovely... Uh -huh. So Sweet. I'll just close this one out. Wife on this video. This is my that's my rock. Look, that second, is, quit second trying to, son. Quit trying to change the what? subject. I, I was bragging that. on you. Oh no. I, I see that. I like it. That's second sweet. son of Julius and Polly Scott. Died during the flu epidemic. Oh wow. Wow, that's right next to uh, uh again, guys, we're not gonna Army. Army was it Ar Ermin? See what this name is, Sheila. E R M I N. Ermine. Ermine. Um, Scott died in 1918. Um, Pete Scott. Guys, anybody that does uh, videos, um, cemeteries, very interesting cemetery here. Mm -hmm. I wish we had more time. We would cover it and do. Uh, yeah. Look at, look at all the older graves here. The oh, yeah. Some you can see in yeah. the camp. Wow. Yeah, some There's of them. Nancy. They're on every, every cemetery, especially here in the mountains. Just unmarked rocks. And wow. Yeah. There's a Ella. Yeah. That's our daughter's name and also my grandmother's name. Yeah. And uh, th this is Scott. Pricey Scott. Um... Fred Scott, Alice Scott, <clears throat> Billy, there's Farley's, there's a Grover, there's a West Virginia Private Company 60 Infantry, I-60 Infantry 5th Division, World War I veteran. Wow. And, uh, oh, there, I've seen all kinds That's down through here. Car. We just ain't got time to hit them all, but I've seen all kinds of, um, here is uh, James Farley, <laughs> U.S. Army. Uh, 1933, died in 1991. Wow. And, uh, okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Yeah, this is a good cemetery here. I like it, don't you? Mm-hmm. It's pretty. It's beautiful. Beautiful. beautiful.